spoken about. So do I. What time is it? Five minutes later than the last time he asked. Look at us, will you? Two lonely, scared women, sitting and waiting, when all you've got to do is to reach for the telephone and we'll have them both here in the hour. Both? Of course, both. All you have to do is to telephone Constable Murphy and tell him McGarry's run off with your boy. Oh, but, Bridget, that's being dishonest. I am a serious dishonesty it is, too. Go on with you and do it. No, Bridget, it wouldn't work. I couldn't hold them for long. Hello. I must wait till they need me. said much since we left the farm. Aren't we ever going to do some talking again? Sure, we'll talk again. I have to do a little thinking. See, it's the first time I ever found myself traveling with a young lad, wondering how it's to be done. Boy, it sure is going to be great fun, isn't it, Trace? Mm. Yes, but uh, you better get some sleep. It's a long way traveling through the world and back. It sure is great to be free, sleeping under the stars, eating whatever we find, going where we please, no more work to be done, no more studying or anything, just doing what we want. Boy, are we lucky. Go to sleep. I am. You know what's the very best thing of all? Shut up. What? Not having any women tell you what to do all the time. You know, it's funny. Even when they don't make a sound, they don't say a word. You can always tell they're around. It's going to be some life without women around. Night, Trace. But you said you wouldn't make me go back. I know I did, but you're going. And you talked about France and Germany and Australia. Pakistan. No. I said Pakistan. Trace, you're backing out. I don't think you've ever been to those places before. Is that so? You know what I think? I think you're scared to go. No more women about the place. No more work. Sleeping under the stars. And who do you think's going to help your mother with all the heavy work? Yourself, that's who. I must have had my brains out for an errand when I agreed to take you along. Oh, but Trace. No more bats. You're going back where you belong. You've been up all night. I tell you, you must get some rest. Did you sleep? No. Mom. It wasn't that I didn't love you. It's just that I wanted to see the world. You will. You will when the time comes. Look at you. I don't care. So glad you decided to come back. Well, it was Trace who really brought me. He said that you needed me and that I needed you. Trace? Is he here? He's gone again.
First I needed a bit of a wash. After that, a bit of something to eat. Well, don't forget to wash behind your ears. Surprise, Laura and Sean. Soon after the wedding, he went back to the university and then on to the practice of medicine. What was Trace McGarry, anyway? Doctor? Poet? Hobo? <laughs> oh, I guess only the Irish can tell you. Goodbye now. <laughs>